How's it going? You're here with Deal Flip Phantom. I'm going to make this as simple as possible. When you're mixing down, alright, the most important thing that you always, always, always need to use is your equalizer. If you are a GarageBand user, you come to Real Instrument, and then you come down here to your visual equalizer, you click it, okay? Let me go ahead and silence out these other takes so you can, you know, hear this by itself. Okay. A lot of these programs, I don't know what they have now because I haven't used a lot of other ones, but I know Acid Pro, Final Cut Pro, no, they don't have analyzers on them. They might now, not sure. But for GarageBand users, this analyzer, what it does is it shows you where, you know, where your vocals stand on a frequency scale. Okay. All right, now you can see here my low and my mids are a little bit high. So to get that balanced out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down my mids a little bit. I'm gonna raise my treble some. Okay. Sorry to my bro, I had to go and hit this flow. I know you hate the style, but I had to let them know. It's all about that top and bottom range. Feeling like Tech and Nina in my cycle because I'm feeling strange. Making that strange music to make them all lose it. Like M and them ladies, I'm your drug overdose when you take and use it. Till I'm in your room like a real life illusion. Like size on the ground, like pox are gone, I can't do it. I'm here to make changes to your life. Now I know you heard a lot of differences that made when me messing with this equalizer. Whenever you raise your treble, it's going to give you a really high hiss sort of sound. When you have your bass, it's going to give you a heavy muffle. It's going to have like a really muffled sound to it. Now, this the most I can do without going into like this extreme detail because there's too much that can be done. That just shows you a little bit of what it sounds like. If you have that high, if you have that muffled sound, like it's sort of clear but not really. That's that means your bass is too high. Your lows are way too high. You need to raise your treble a little bit and you need to lower your bass some. If you have high hisses and S's and, and all of that and it's really it's really loud and it's like ear piercing, you need to drop down your treble and you need to raise up your bass some, your lows, your mids and your high mids. All of that it just comes with the way you want it to sound like. That's the the most I can give you because it's too broad. If you have any specific questions about certain effects or certain things, you can ask me and I can go over that by itself and, you know, cover it fully. Now, however, when it comes down to mixing, you have something called buses in other programs like Acid Pro and Final Cut Pro. I don't use it in GarageBand, but in other programs you're doing it makes it a lot easier for you. Your buses will look like this, okay? Whenever you open these buses, you need to link. I know a lot of them, you link whatever take it is, which a take is, you know, your vocals where you recorded at. You link it to this bus, all right? The instrumental need to have, it needs to have its own. Your core, your main take, your loudest take, it needs to have its own. And your overs need to have their own, like your overdub, you know, your extra take, your emphasize, need to have their own bus. When you, when you mix these down, your buzz, basically it'll show you the wavelengths and where they're at. You want to have your instrumental as balanced as possible with your core, and you want your overs to be, you know, extraordinary little. So your your overs usually it be give or take about here to here, but your core take should be up about you know give or take about here to here with your instrumental. You know, and that's as simple as I can make it. So that's you know some of that. What you don't Actually, there was an absolute no-no when it comes down to mixing down is you don't want anything to redline. If you see red dots here, you need to you need to fix it. You need to go in, find out where they came up at. And here you can bring up the track volume. Click this arrow, you can bring up track volume. Any spaces that do that, you know, it shows you a number here when you click it, how much you want to drop it. It may not look like that much, but this dropped over five decibels, this little bit of mouth that I moved. You know, and it'll drop down whatever vocal that you need it to be dropped. You know, whatever part of the vocal you need it to be dropped. Like if you want to lower this down, you know, to where it wasn't so high to where it didn't redline. You do that and then you bring it back balance to where it was at. And that's one way to fix redlining. Another way, 
you know, is to double up and that can also make it louder without causing distortion. That red line means distortion. The reason why it doesn't distort when you double is because it's not the same take being raised beyond its limits. All right. Another thing this down here in GarageBand is your master track. Absolute no's with red with this as well. You do not want to see reds with this. If you need it to be louder, you need to have a mastering program. You know, in a mastering program, you know, you have T racks and there's, there's there's various other ones. The one I use is T racks. Okay. Then you have your compressor. This gives you. You go to master track, and then you have your compressor. You just depending on what kind of sounds you're going for. If you you know they have all their compressors here, not getting into that because there's too many. So you know you got your different compressors here. You just click it, you know whichever way you want the sound like. And that makes a major difference on the entire track. So whatever you choose, like you know it affects everything. All right. Hear this completely. And that's the kind of effect that compressor has. It's very heavy. So, off of all of this other stuff, that's the basics. Any additional questions, just ask and I'll fill you in. If it's requested enough, I will go live on my uh, webcam and, I, and I'll go on my actual video site to where you can actually talk to me directly while or whenever I'm mixing and I can show you how to do whatever you need to be done. All right? You're a DF1 Phantom and this is the basics. All right, I'm out.